Hello and welcome to Paratech Solutions. I'm Eden and we're going to go through how to update the firmware on your Minix device. So first off over here we have the um, minix.com.hk website. It has to be the .hk at the end there to uh, get the most recent firmware. Um, head on over to uh, support and resource. Go to the download page and here we are and then you find your most recent firmware. So we're going to be using the X7 Mini today. Um, and as happens, uh, it's the second down the list. Um, if you're looking at the review um, around this date, um, it could be pretty far down because there's been loads of uh, loads of updates for the X8 series, so it could be second or third page. Um, but that's not a problem. So we'll just download that and uh, save it to the desktop or somewhere that you you can remember. And, uh, I'm just going to save it there because I know where that is. So whilst that's downloading, we need to know whether you're going to use a 32-bit computer or a 64-bit computer. If you know that anyway, then don't bother doing this part. If you don't know that, then uh, I'll show you how to find out. So you hit the start button at the bottom, uh, bottom left, go to the top here, right-click, go to properties, and then over here it will say system type. And we're you well. We're, I'm using a 32-bit operating system, um, so just make a note of that. You're going to need that later. Um, okay, so I'm going to pause it now and then continue when it's finished downloading on our incredibly slow internet. Okay, now you have that downloaded. Um, you'll end up with either a zip file or a raw file. Um, zip by default will work fine with Windows, but RAW files I'm pretty sure will not work with Windows um, Zip uh, Extractor. So the one that I would recommend using is the one that I will be using for this video. Uh, it's called 7-Zip, completely free. You just download it, install it. It's a very small program. It'll work on um, any Windows computer. Um, so you've downloaded it from uh, the firmware from the Minix website and this is the folder you'll have. You right click that and then you'll there'll be a 7-zip option here and you just click ex extract here. Um, obviously yours may have a different name depending on when the firmware was released and what the uh, product it's for. So after that's extracted you'll have the original uh, zip file along with these files here. So the next step is to attach the Minix um, and I'll flick over to the camera now and show you how to plug in the Minix so that it's in recovery mode. You can't just plug in the USB, it has to be in the right way or the computer will just not see it. Uh, okay, here we go. And this is how to connect the uh, X7 full size. It will work exactly the same for the X5 full size and the um, both XH, X8 and the X8H. Um, it works slightly differently to the uh, Minis. Um, so on the side here you've got a port labeled OTG so in there you'll plug this USB cable that came with the Minix it's got the micro USB on the end there now you need to use the one that came with the Minix because it is slightly longer than um, than your average cable um, the normal cable will not be able to reach into the port and make a proper connection so plug that one in there the other end goes to the computer and then you have to find the recover port which is here. Focus. Ah, you can see it. Um, it's only on its end. So then you put your uh, paper cup in there till it clicks. And then you can connect kind of the power. And then while still holding that, press the on button on the side here. Just press it once. And um, Hold that for a few seconds so the computer uh, shows a notification that you can let go of that and it's connected. Okay, we're now going to go through how to plug your Minix into the computer. Um, I'm holding the X7 Mini here with the Arial, but um, it will work exactly the same with the X5 Mini as well. Um, so for that you're going to need uh, a few things. Number one, you're going to need your power cable. There you go, power cable. Um, you're going to need a USB cable and uh, it's the one that's supplied with there and it's got the uh, two flat ends, uh, both um, male ends. 
and you're going to need the most important and expensive tool of all, a paperclip. Um, so, let's get started. Um, first off, you have the two USBs on the side here. Um, we want to aim for this one preferably, that's the, um, the controller USB, so that's more likely to work. Uh, it should work in the other one anyway, but we'll use the, uh, the master USB anyway. So, nothing's going to happen because there's no power in there yet, so plug that in in there, plug the run into your computer, um, and then you get your paper clip, and then there's a hole about here. Don't know if the camera will be able to pick that up. Yeah, okay, awesome. Uh, plug that in there, push it in until you hear it click. Don't think the camera will pick that one up. And then hold it like that, and then you plug the power in. And you hold it there for a couple seconds. The computer should make a ping noise and um, give you a notification that something's plugged in, and then you can let go of that. Um, and you're good to go. Then we'll go back onto the computer and uh, show you what to do there. Okay, now that you know how to plug in your Minix, I'm going to plug my Minix in and we'll go through what, exactly what's going to happen. So I'm just attaching the power now. So it should get a little pop up here saying installing uh, device driver software. If you click that, you've got this pop up. So it's going to uh, fail because uh, Windows doesn't have the drivers um, already on there. So you need to uh, press here. It's going to take ages. You can just leave it if you want, but um, it will take a few minutes. But there you go, so driver not found. So you've got to close that and then go down to start, computer, right click that, and then press manage. So uh, the manager will take a few minutes to, uh, not a few minutes rather, a few seconds to start up. Um, there we go. So you've got to be patient with that, sometimes that can take some time. So you need to go over here where it says device manager. And then you'll have over here saying unknown device. So what you need to do, that's that's actually the Minix. Uh, the computer doesn't recognize that. So click on that, right click, update, update driver software. And then you need to click browse my computer for driver software. And then that's just remembering it from last time. Uh, highlight include subfolders because it's pretty useful. Press browse. And then you need to go to where you downloaded and extracted the firmware before. When you downloaded it from the Minix website, and then you um, extracted that RAW file, which is over here in the background. Um, and then, so on my computer, it's uh, it's on the desktop. And then Minix except for Mini. And then this, and then you need to go into Neo underscore Driver Assistant. And then Driver. And then I'm running a 32-bit operating system, which is called, on this, x86. 32-bit is x86. 64-bit would be the x64. That's just how things work. Don't question it. And then go into, um, and then just highlight whether you're Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows XP. So I'm using Windows 7. Press OK. And then that's the link there. Press Next. And then it's going to take a few minutes to install the software. Um, it will ask you permission because uh, Windows doesn't know what um, rocket chip is. That's the internal um, chip maker, if you will. Um, just press uh, install. Give it a few minutes. And there we go. Um, Windows have successfully updated your driver software. And it's called rocket chip device. There's no logo for it, so you're going to have a question mark. But that's not going to bother you ever. So you close that. Um, now it will be classed under a rock chip USB device, uh, it's no longer an unknown device, so you can close that. So now we are going to update the firmware. Okay, now that's all set up, we're going to um, install the new firmware onto your Minix device. So to do that we are going into the folder that you extracted from the website before, from that RAR or zip file. Um, there will be a flash tool here. We'll click that, and then the RK batch tool. One, at the moment, it's 1.7. Uh, it'll probably be a newer version by the time you uh, you see this video. Um, might ask for uh, admin rights. Just press yes, and it'll open. So here you go. So this green box here, 
is the Minix. If you're not seeing the green box, it means that either the Minix is not connected. Uh, so just go back and retry installing the um, drivers. So once that's there, so you go up here, press the uh, button there, and go back. It's probably like it's defaulted here because it remembers it from last time. You'll either be put on my computer or my desktop. So go to my desktop, find the folder where you um, downloaded and extracted the firmware. Uh, these folders back here um, so for me I put it in a folder called Minix X7 Mini and then the top folder is firmware open that and then this is your firmware so just press open that'll import now this is a very important part you'd never press upgrade that will brick the device you can then just repeat what we've already done but um, upgrade will never work um, up to this date anyway, they've, they've not made any mention of uh, implementing that. You have to press restore. So I'll press restore and you can watch it going in the background. But um, just to let you know, this is going to wipe all of your data, all your applications, um, app, uh, I don't know, pictures, videos, music, everything. It's, it's going to be like factory conditions. Um, so you can see here it's uh, running through all the different checks. Flashing yellow means it's doing something. Um, and you can see you can connect up to eight devices. It's going to take me a while because it's, uh, it's downloading uh, a few extra uh, bits of firmware and the internet is pretty bad here. So I'm going to pause it and uh, continue when it's finished downloading. Okay, so uh, it finished downloading. It did a firmware check, which also took a minute or so, and then it finished installing it. So after that's finished, the Minix is going to reboot, which means it's going to launch like like a normal Minix, it's not going to be plugged into the computer as far as it's concerned, even though it's still plugged in. Uh, you've not held down that reset button with the paperclip, so it's just booted like normal. Um, so that's why it's not coming up here. So it's it's normal for it to disappear once it's finished um, doing the firmware update. So um, I would leave the Minix for a good 10 minutes or so because on its first boot up, it's going to be rearranging its internal folders and such. It can take a few minutes. So. I, I leave it for a good 10-15 minutes just to be on the safe side um, and then you can uh, unplug it from the computer, unplug the power and then plug it into a monitor and um, you should be good to go. That's the end of the tutorial. I hope that you got everything you need out of it. If you did, good job. Get some wine or some chocolate or something. You did a great job. If you didn't get what you needed, don't be afraid to get in touch. Here is my email address and phone number. Always here to help you. Until then, have a good day from Paratech.